Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Mr. B again, here with another fun demonstration for you. This one also has to do with specific heat and specific heat capacity and how awesome water really is. Okay, so this one is probably one of my favorite demonstrations to do. You may have seen videos of this one before, um, but I thought I'd show you guys uh, a little bit closer. So what we have here is a little tray and I have some water in it. And in addition to water, I'm going to add a little bit of dish soap. I added some uh, before, but I want to make sure that there's plenty of it. This is the good stuff. Uh, four times more grease cleaning power, uh, not a sponsor. Um, and uh, next up, I have this little tube. Now, what is this little tube attached to? Well, just out of sight, uh, it is attached to the uh, gas outlets. So right here is sort of like a Bunsen burner, but it's not hooked up to a Bunsen burner, just a little tubing. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna submerge and start bubbling. Okay, so uh, I don't know how well you can see from there, but my little tray here is filling up with bubbles, okay? And those bubbles are filled with a uh, quite flammable gas. So I wanna be careful because it is quite flammable, um, but this demonstration uh, is going to deal with fire, so let me turn off the lights. I have no idea how well this is going to work on video, but uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to burn this gas in my hand, okay? But there's a lot of energy that's going to be given off when I do that. A lot of energy transferred to my hand, which is a bad thing because that could burn and cause permanent scarring and so forth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use science to help me out here. We know that water has a specific heat capacity of 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. So if I submerge my hand in water, okay, this is just a, a container of water here, okay, and I have a little layer of water over my hand, take a little scoop, let's see what happens. Ah, ah I'm a magician, okay, let's do it again. Again, this is one of my favorite demonstrations because you just get to burn stuff. Now, it does feel warm, in case you're curious what the sensation is, okay, but there's enough energy, right, being transferred to the water instead of my hand that it doesn't permanently scar me. Yeah, now, um, whenever uh, other people try and do this, they sort of freak out because it does get a little warm. I'm gonna put a little bit more bubbles. Okay. But as I mentioned before, the specific heat capacity of water allows the water to absorb most of the energy However, it is absorbing the energy and it does increase in temperature. So if I were to do this without the water, it would be very, very painful. It would not be good, okay? So this time I'm gonna do a little fancy arc. Ready, here we go. <sighs> Magic. Okay, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm just gonna do it pretty much the rest of the afternoon, okay? Uh, oh, forgot to do the water. Okay. Um, this one, I would not necessarily try on your own, okay? Uh, you can find some videos of other people trying it out. Um, just uh, be very careful uh, in, in whatever you do. Okay. There you go. All right, I'm back. Uh, I just had to do another real quick demonstration, right? Same thing, right? Just burning the uh, gas off my hand. But some people ask, what do you do with the leftover bubbles in here? Luckily, there's a lot of water in here, so very carefully, I step back, and if I like this, Ooh, that's a lot of heat, okay? I did make sure not to do this right underneath the sprinkler so that I wouldn't get uh, wet, but uh, you get the idea. So, thought you might be interested in seeing that as well.